Hi everyone, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we are starting part one in our Spring Easter Wreath Tutorials. That's a mouthful. Um, but yes, we're going to have I think about four different um, parts to this. Uh, the first one today that we're going to be doing is how to make these cute little Easter eggs that are on the wreath. Let me move, let's see if I can move the camera back just a little bit so you can see the wreath. That's what it's like. And so, um, yeah, today we're going to do the Easter egg. And I think tomorrow I'm going to try to show you how to do the flower. And then we're going to do the rabbit. Um, and then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to put it all together. For this wreath, um, I used a pool noodle um, for the outside of this. And I'm going to show you how to put that together. It was literally a pool noodle, some duct tape. Um, and my husband found a cool way to get the bunny to sit on the wreath. He used um, a hanger and we just cut it off with some, uh, what are they called? Clipper things. <laughs> and we just simply pressed it through the back of the bunny and into the pool noodle itself so it would stay there and it stays perfectly fine. So those are all things that you should have in your home. Um, and so it's really inexpensive to make. Now for this wreath, because it is so heavy and big, I did use the glue gun. I did use the glue gun to um, put everything else on here, the eggs, the flowers, but you can also sew them on um, if you wanted to. I just found the glue gun to be easier for me. So anyway, that's what we're going to be working on. Uh, thank you, Isabel. Um, and if you're on YouTube and you hear me talking to people, because uh, this is a Facebook Live video, but it will end up on YouTube. So yeah, I'm on Facebook Live. But anyway, yeah, be sure to like, share, and subscribe because I am going to do a giveaway for a turtle, a stuffed turtle keychain. So it's technically amorgami. I can't say that correctly, but it's the uh, crochet stuffed little turtle animal um, on a keychain. So make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're on Facebook. Just um, go up there to the top to the watch video and it'll take you right to my YouTube channel. If you're on my YouTube channel, you know how to subscribe and hit that bell so that you can uh, get notifications for my videos. Also, if you're on Facebook, there is a notification button that you can hit. If you hit that, then you'll be notified every time I have a live video. So yeah, make sure you do all that and let's get busy and we'll start learning how to make this beautiful wreath. You can use any colors that you want. I did use, um, sorry, moving my camera down guys. I did use a uh, red heart. Um, uh, I used a little bit of Walmart super saver brand. I just used all kinds of colors for this, but you can use whatever you want. Um, okay. So today we're going to need a pair of scissors. We're going to need a darning needle. We're going to need a stitch marker. Now, if you don't have a stitch marker, you can use a piece of yarn. No big deal. Um, and I'll show you how to do that if you don't know how. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. Also, for my egg, I used a um, 4.5 millimeter or size G hook. But if you want to make it bigger, remember, use the bigger hook. If you want to make it smaller, use a smaller hook. Okay, so to get started, we're going to do a slip knot and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to slip stitch into the first chain from the hook. Then we're going to single crochet eight into the circle. So we're not going to go up any, we're just going to go directly into the circle doing eight single crochets. And I am working my little tail as I go along. Okay, so there's our eight. I'm going to pull this too because this is going to be um, the bottom of our Easter egg 
and we are going to be stuffing it so we need to make sure that we get oh I'm sorry yes you will need some kind of stuffing for this I think stuffing works best because it is a semi-large egg so um, but you can use um, fabric you could use clothes you could use yarn you can use whatever you want or you can take an old pillow in the house or an old stuffed animal and take the stuffing out of it I'm all about repurposing okay so normally what we would do is we would slip stitch to close but we're working in the round so we're not going to do that so we're going to place our stitch marker into our last single crochet here just like this or you can use a piece of yarn so you would just take a piece of yarn that you cut off preferably another color so it'll stand out and put it right through just like I did the stitch marker okay and so now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have eight so to do that I'm going to start with this first little this can get kind of confusing when you're working in the round exactly where to go but we know that right here is where we just stopped so we know that we need to go to the next one but sometimes there's a little stitch right here it looks like it's open but in fact it's part of this one so the best thing to do is to count so one two three four five six seven and eight where my stitch marker is so I know that this is the one I need to go into and what we're going to do now is we're going to put two in each stitch uh, single crochet around which will make a count of 16 it's kind of hard to get into this first one I'm going to work it through there. Ah. And we're going to do two in each. So there's two. There's four. There's six. eight and ten and twelve and fourteen and in the last two we're going to remove our stitch marker here and we're going to put our last two in there which will make a count of 16 with two in each around okay and again we're just working in the round so I'm going to take my stitch marker hi Tyra and I'm going to put it right back into that last single crochet that we worked okay and that lets me know where I need to go to okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the sequences one and two okay so we're going to go into our next stitch we're going to put one single crochet we're going to go into our next and we're going to put two into that same place then we're going to go into the next and put one single crochet and in the next we're going to put two single crochets and you're going to do all the way around that same sequence for a count of 24 So, one, and then two, and one, and two, doing our crochet aerobics here, one, and two, And if you count it correctly where your stitch marker is where you take that out you are going to have an increase which means that you'll have two single crochets in that last one okay and then we're going to put our sing our stitch marker back in I'm going to do that for every round and now I'm going to count and just make sure and I'm going to show you how I count that we're doing that we do have right on 24 so I'm going to start right here 
and I'm going to count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And we also count where our stitch marker is for 24. So we are on the right track. And so now what we're going to do is do one single crochet of 24 all the way around. So we're just going to do one single crochet all the way around. And it should still be 24 by the end of this round. I hope everyone's having a great day today. The sun has finally come out, which is always wonderful. Okay, and we are at our last one here. So I'm going to take that out. And we should have a stitch count of 24. We're going to put our stitch marker right back where it was before. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a sequence. Now we're going to do a sequence of two and two. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet. And in the next one, another single crochet. And in the next one, two single crochets. Again, we go into the next one for one single crochet, and into the next one single crochet, and into the next two single crochets. We're going to do that all the way around with a stitch total of 32. Okay? So in the next one, one. The next one, one next one two and that's how it kind of how I count as I go along I just go one one and two and again one one and two And you just do that all the way around. Again, your total should be 32. And if you did it correctly at the end here, you should have two where your stitch marker was. I'm going to take that out put my two in this final one and and put it right back again so we don't lose where we're at because that can be quite rough I'm sure if you crochet at all on here if you've ever lost count or you've dropped it or you've done something and then you're like oh my gosh and you have to start all over again so yeah Make sure you put your stitch marker back or your piece of yarn, whichever you prefer. Okay, so now we're going to do one single crochet all the way around of 32. So again, that's just one single crochet and each stitch all the way around for a count again of 32.
And also, while I'm going along here, I want to make sure that you know that this is actually what we're working here is the outside of your egg. This is the inside of your egg. So I always make sure that I'm turning my work this way as I go along instead of this way. Okay, it'll make it easier at the end when you go to stuff it. in my stitch marker. Okay, so I'm going to take this out. Again, that should be 32. I'm going to place my stitch marker back. Okay, and that's what it should look like so far. It should start curling on you a little bit. It looks just like this, okay? And now what you're going to do is you're going to work seven rounds seven rounds of 32. Now, I did the math for you and that's a total of 224. What I would do is take this stitch marker out, put a sign on my head that says don't disturb me, and count to 224 stitches. Um, but you, you can you can put the stitch marker in and just go round and round and round seven times, making sure to put the stitch marker back as you go along. Otherwise, you can just um, do 224 single crochets, and that will be seven rounds of 32. Okay, so because I work magic. <laughs> We already have one completed with all of those rounds in it, so I'm going to go ahead and go to that. If you need to pause the video later or whatever you want to do, you can, but I've already done um, seven rounds of 32, and this time I'm going to show you how to use with a yarn stitch marker here, okay? This is just like the stitch marker that I had before, but if you don't have one of those, you can use a piece of yarn. Okay, so now that we've done all of our 224 single crochets or seven rounds of 32, we are now going to begin to decrease to make the egg smaller. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do two single crochets, one and two. Then we're going to decrease two. So that means we're going to crochet two together. To do that, you're going to go into your next single crochet here, pull up, go into your next, pull up, just like this, and go through all three. So what we essentially just did is crochet two together, and that's going to make these rounds smaller and make the egg shape that you need. Okay, so we're going to go to our next, we're going to do another single crochet. Go to our next, do another single crochet, and then again crochet two together by going into your next stitch, pulling up yarn, go into your next stitch, pull up yarn, you have three on your hook, and go through all three. And you're going to go into your next one, single crochet one, go into your next, single crochet two, and again crochet two together by going into your next stitch, pulling up yarn, but don't go through. Go into your next one, pull up yarn. And then you have three on your hook now you can go through all three and you're going to keep doing that all the way around so two single crochets and then crochet two together and you're going to end up with a stitch count of 24 and with a stitch count of 24. so we're just going to do that all the way around
And then when you get your to your last two, which are the, the last two is a decrease, so we're going to crochet two together. We're going to take this out, and then we're going to go into the next pull up, go into the next pull up, and then go through all three. Okay. Now I'm going to take my new stitch marker. A new stitch marker of yarn and pull right back through there just like that and then just tighten it up a little bit okay so now we have a stitch count of 24 and now we're going to do a one single crochet of 24 all the way around okay so we're going to Just do one single crochet all the way around. You are going to want to make sure that when you're doing stuff, any kind of stuffed project, that you are trying to work as tight as you possibly can. Um, when you do your decrease rounds, you are going to notice a tiny bit of gapping. That's okay. That's normal. It's going to happen. Um, but you do want to try to work tightly. Basically because you don't want to see the stuffing through the holes, but as you get closer to the top, it is going to do a tiny bit of gapping and you will see a little bit, but that's okay. That's normal and that's the way it should look for crochet stuffed projects. Okay, so we're right back at our stitch marker. So we're going to take that out. We're going to put our last single crochet right there. And then we're going to pull our yarn through. Okay, just so we know we, where we need to go. Okay, and the next thing that we're going to do is another decrease. Sorry, I'm pulling out my yarn here. And our, our next decrease, our next decrease, what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet and then two together so again we're going in we're pulling up we're going to the next one going in pulling up and going through all three on our hook and then go into the next one and do one single crochet and again two together and then to our next one one single crochet and the next two together And we're just going to do that all the way around one single crochet and then crocheting two together And see, as you can tell, as you're going along, it is going to be harder to keep your work tight. But that's okay. Just do the best you can. Remember, if you don't do it perfect the first time, you can try again. Or you can just frog it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take out our yarn. And this and our last one is our last two together. Now you should have a stitch count of 16. So we're going to put our stitch marker right back here where it needs to go. Kind of working around a camera here, so I'm having a hard time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is again one single crochet all the way around of 16. So I'm just going to go all the way around one single crochet all the way around one single crochet for a count of 16. Sorry about the buffering. Again, I'm just trying to keep my work as tight as I can. Okay, 
you might have to flatten it out a little bit as you go along which is fine so on our last one so we're going to pull that stitch marker out do one single crochet in there and then we'll put our stitch marker back okay and now we should have a count of 16 and now we're going to do one more single crochet all the way around of 16 fighting yarn that is trying to get tangled up sorry about that guys So we made a stitch marker. Now we're going to do our last single crochet there, and we're going to put our stitch marker back. And now we're going to stuff our egg, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you pull this way far out so that it doesn't get lost while you're stuffing it. This is what your egg looks like so far doesn't really look eggish yet but it will when we're done okay so I'm gonna put that right there and I'm gonna grab some stuffing and this is what my stuffing looks like what it'll look like a lot of times when you buy it or you even pull it from something and you want to make sure that you break it all apart okay just like this and then you're just gonna go right into the middle there push it down grab some more fluff it all out okay I hope nobody hates that sound because <laughs> that was pretty close to the camera okay and you're just making sure that you're keeping your stitch marker and your um, your long piece there out and then you're going to just keep grabbing your stuffing pulling it all apart you're just going to keep stuffing it in there just like that and you'd be surprised how much stuffing it takes to even stuff such a small little project so that's why I said for this it might be good to have actual stuffing um, versus yarn or scrap material okay again I'm stuffing all down and now what I want to do is I'm going to work around just like this so I'm taking my fingers just making sure that the stuffing gets pushed all the way down and I'll even take my hands and I'll go like this to get it to make sure that it's molded correctly so I'm kind of stuffing down and then I'm rolling with my hand okay and I can feel that it still needs some more stuffing so I'm going to just take some more okay and I'm just gonna now that I do that when I did that it started to come out so um, I think that it's pretty good for now so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, it decreases all the way around so I'm gonna crochet two together all the way around and we can put more stuffing in it before we're done but this should um, wind up with a, a total of eight at the end so we're just gonna go all the way around crocheting two together so there's 
one. Then I'm going to go to the next, pull up the yarn. Go to the next. Just like I showed you before, how to crochet two together. But you're just doing it all the way around with no single crochets in between. So you're just gonna, sorry, fighting the yarn again. And sometimes you might pull up a little stuffing. That's okay. Just push it down with your finger. Keep trucking along here. And again, your last two should be right there. So I'm gonna pull out my piece of yarn that was tucked down in there. And we're gonna do the, our last one here. So now you should have a stitch count of eight. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And we're going to shape it in just a minute. See if we need to stuff it anymore. So I'm going to put my stitch marker back because we're still not done yet. We've just got a little bit left. And so now I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to, you know, mold it again with my hands. I'm going to see if it needs... Um, so you need to be careful there. I let my hook fall out. If you're going to have your hook out, you need to make sure that you have enough space so that it doesn't come undone there on you. But um, I think it looks really good. I don't think I need to stuff it anymore. So now I'm ready to just do our last few um, uh, decreases to pull this all together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two decreases all the way around now for a total of four being left so there's one two there's one two together just like that and then another two together and another two together and this last one here two together and as you can see as we did that it pretty much closed up the space so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go into our very next stitch that's available pull through our yarn to do a slip stitch and we're going to cut off leaving leave a good size you know piece there because we're going to sew it in Okay, and now you just close off just like we normally do. Okay, and then I'm going to shape my egg here with my hands. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, and that's what it looks like. Um, I did use some striped yarn. You can change colors within there if you want to make it look more colorful. I just wanted to use a color that would show up well on camera. So now what I would do to um, close this off, and I may still do a little bit more shaping to my egg with my hands to make sure that it looks exactly the way I want it to. Okay. And then I would just take this and I would go directly through the middle and I would pull out around the side somewhere wherever you want to go okay and then I would go in again you can go out wherever you want to go out but just make sure you go into the same place where you came out before otherwise it'll show that um, I actually sew a stitch okay so we've done that we've got our yarn all worked in so now we're just going to cut right there just like that as close as we can and voila we have an egg and that's how I made my Easter eggs for my wreath um, and I did all kinds of different colors like I said you can choose whatever colors you want I thought the striped look really pretty um, but I ended up using if you want to know exactly how many I used for mine um, let me pull this back up again I used one two three 
four, there's one hidden back here, five. So I used five eggs and I used all kinds of different colors. These are the stripes by Red Heart, all of these. Um, and this back behind here is also stripes by Red Heart. Um, and I just thought it looked pretty um, for that, but you can use any colors you want. But I ended up, if you want to do the wreath exactly like mine, I ended up using five eggs. So you'll need to have five of those done for when we put it together, okay? And um, like I said, you can put more stuffing in these than I did. It feels like I may should have put a little bit more there at the top, but you just continue to mold with your hands and it will eventually look exactly the way that you want it to, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again probably tomorrow, and we're either going to start our rabbit or we're going to start some flowers. So thanks a bunch. Have a great day. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.